Hey folks, we're back. And there's your sadness. Yeah, intersecting. Um, well, okay. you're you're going through it pretty well, pretty well. We haven't hit any bad hiccups. I guess. I feel like the objective menu is garbage. A little bit. Not a even little a little. Bit. It's just garbage. <laughs> Yeah, you so know what? Back to Fuck my this theory. game. Why am I trying to do back, any kindness? <laughs> back to my theory here. I think the people that originally just started um, with this, I'll, I think they had something going. You know, they're like, hey, what? You know, like it's a shooter, and it'll be like a war against humans and mythological creatures. Like that's how often do you see that? And somebody goes, yeah, all the time. We don't. <laughs> not really. Not with literally you. every fantasy game. Okay, but yeah, where you're bringing in like other kinds of fantasy, <laughs> like either sci-fi, you're dealing with fucking aliens, or you're dealing with like, it's usually some sort of out of planet thing, or zombies. Holy shit, the zombie phase was a little too much. But I think when somebody say, whoa, like what about griffins and werewolves and stuff? Like, I think that would be like a change of pace, and someone's like, oh yeah, you know, why not? You know, it's popular with the kids, they love them shooters, they love guns, and you get to shoot up you know things that aren't humans that's cool but wow you got him like mid crawl um but i swear they just did not have anybody test this they didn't have anybody get that boy get the boy you should use your sniper no it, it takes too oh long. you are using the sniper what the fuck you're not even aiming what the? Oh god! Fucking see what I mean about the benches? Yeah. When a bench fucks up your whole game. Uh, oh god. Go ahead. There you go. Whoop! Someone up top. It's like shit. Oh no, my leg. That was my good <laughs> leg too. <laughs> it's the leg I proposed on. No. I mean, look. I'm not going to deny that this game has an interesting premise. Okay, it actually has a pretty cool premise. But, but nobody tested it. Yeah, it's like they barely tested it. Oh, no! Yo, you saw that tentacle. It's time to roll. Ooh, wait, no, the tentacle's just grabbing the enemy. So go ahead, just let, let it just take care of him. Yeah, but this means that it's also going to try and grab me, so... You got this. Where do I go? There's a... Oh, I gotta a jump into that hole. There. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it got ya. Nice. You're safe, I think. Yeah, well... There goes my animus, so... <laughs> you got it, you got this. Um, yeah. Like... It had, yeah, it seemed like nobody tested it. Nobody thought that the control scheme was bad. They thought you know, it was so smooth. They probably got somebody that's like, they know their way on making but controls. Again, so I know. I had to feel, I, I refuse to believe that nobody on the team probably didn't have the dawning, creeping, horrific suspicion that this was maybe a super bad game. Maybe somebody, maybe original in the project was like, wait. Guys, I feel like we this game really needs to be fixed, you know? Like the the controls and you know, we need to fucking patch up a lot of things in this game that are clearly flawed. And then someone just goes, "Dude, we already said the game was coming out." Like, no, fuck this shit. It's, it looks good. It okay, looks like, good. That that's a th Okay, firstly, like like okay. I get that these studios feel like they're obligated to release their game on a specific day or time or whatever. Uh -huh. Especially if that's like what they promised to a um, a uh, a distributor. Yeah. You know, like a a bigger fucking I for, a publisher, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot words for a second. Um, but at the same time, like. Okay. You gotta fight um, the rats. If they are f afraid that the product is not going to be up to a certain quality, they should be fully within their rights to see we have to hold back on this. And 
publishers, if you're dev if the studio that's developing a game says that they need to push back the schedule because it's not going to be up to a quality standard that they have and that you have, don't be assholes and say, no, you have to stick to the schedule because you're idiots and that's how you lose money and that's how promising looks, studios otherwise get shuttered. It looks worse that your game has such awful reviews and has such a bad feedback. All yeah, I'm pretty this. sure this studio closed up after this game. Who fucking heard of Spark Unlimited or Gamecock after this? It's the last part of the name is Cock. Did you say Cock? Did you watch, say Spark Studios Cock? Watch, no, look. I'm just trying to repeat. Gonna, you're not going to believe me. Okay, folks, I'm actually Dude, I'll look up it up. Wikipedia I have a phone. Right I can look it up. I have a phone. No, uh, I'll also do this as well. I feel like, hey, any moment I can take a break from this shit game. Yep. All yeah. good. Oh, good. No, 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 no. I'll do it. I'll do it, Maddie. No worries. I know you have a phone Legendary with internet game. access. Legendary video game. Oh, fuck. Um, previously known as Legendary the Box, publishers Gamecock Media Group Game and Cock. Atari. And it was, um, let's see, it was developed by Spark Unlimited. And I'm pretty sure Spark closed up after this game. Spark? Yeah, Unlimited. was. Spark Unlimited, based in Sherman Oaks, California, was a video game developer founded by former developers from the Medal of Honor PC and console franchise. Oh, oh man. God. So, see, they actually... Okay, that is baffling to me. I can't Look believe at this. this. This is... They were known for... They were, they, they are familiar with Unreal. Oh. The Unreal Engine. And they made this game? It's bad. They, sh they know shooters. They practically fucking... The the taught the shooter genre how to walk. That would that's what really the bad. Fuck? Yeah, and then they go and make this game and it's the worst. It's bad. It's bad. It does leave a bad <laughs> taste in my mouth. It, yeah, it's not just that like I thought maybe this was like a little girl well no, I I, I figured me there had to be some industry veterans or some industry people on hand. Like, like people with industry experience on hand to make this game just because that's how fucking shit usually goes. Oh, no, 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 no. Turn. God. What happened? Uh, I, was out of, I was out of animus. Oh. I forgot I was out of animus. Oh, boy. Um, like, I, 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 I figure that there had to be at least some people with industry experience on hand because usually, like, small or new studios usually tend to hire at least one or two industry vets or people with more industry experience to supplement the new talent mm -hmm. um but i didn't realize that it, it had like actual legit talented people who worked on nothing but shooter games that's really <laughs> like I... and i and they make this that doesn't just leave a bad taste in one's mouth that's like a fucking travesty that's a fucking wow. Ugh. I didn't know it was that bad. I just thought these guys were just a bunch okay, of fuckheads. Okay, we're Okay, that... I got to go up there. What's up? Uh, oh. Yeah, a, up the ladder. A great. Right? I didn't re Was there a ladder up there as well? This I didn't one. know to No, yeah, I did that, but there was apparently like one, one more step up. Well, I don't know. Oh, when look. You got grabbed by the tentacle. Yeah, I guess I kind of blanked out on there, that. And yeah, look, no. I have to actually... Yeah. Oh. Yeah, gruesome. Boys. Cool. Oh, no. The action's back. Take out your sniper. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, come on. Come on. These guys are nothing but fucking HP sappers because they don't give back any health or anything no that's a shame i wish everybody gave out animus but that wouldn't make sense right it no would it wouldn't be the creatures oh god another one of these areas cool oh they're distracted by a werewolf apparently let them shoot the werewolf a bit i get oh god oh, no, no I, the... oh god ah that was a pretty of big. Course, I didn't even see him. Of course. Neither did I. You thought you were surprised. I was surprised because usually <laughs> you'll be surprised when it comes behind you, but I'll already be saying, I think this one behind you, there was something crawling. And then it's like, oh, what the fuck? But no, that one really, really yeah. dipped up on you. Yeah, that, uh, that'll happen, I guess. 
Well, I guess you're gonna have to continue in the next episode. Already? Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you, my boy. Jesus Christ. That felt like nothing. I don't well, know if that's know. a good sign or a bad sign. No, but you sound happy, so I'll take it as a good sign. All right. Well, next time on Geek Raiders, bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>